Hey folks, welcome back to Beefnopolis Gaming, Beefnopolis Horror Stories, uh, uh, blah, blah, what is, what the hell is this? Pineview Drive is what we're playing today. Alright, I've got one key. I don't know where it goes. I can play with the... There we go. Alright, yeah, we're outie. So, uh, last week I, I saved the playthrough of this honestly not very scary, scary game by doing a um, little little how to how to grill a cheese <laughs> explanation and you know I had so much fun with that uh, okay why is the music doing the thing I had so much fun with that that uh, I would like to do something like that again I would like to just kind of use this game as a vehicle to explain how to do various things because it's fun. Is this the room that I want? This is not the room that I want. The days are getting shorter. So anyway, this time I believe... No, nope, not this room. Um, something I had to do over the weekend and actually uh, I will actually brighten this up in post, but um Something I had to do over the weekend. I had a minor plumbing emergency. And uh, this is not where I want to be. I had a minor plumbing emergency that I had to take care of. There we go. Is that it? Some uh, music room, I think it was. What is that? Yeah, whatever. But uh, what I had to do was replace the sink strainer, nut, and washer. Uh, you might be saying, Alex, what the fuck is a sink strainer, nut, and washer? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what that is. It is... I, I think I'm in completely the wrong place here. Now, that's where we had the jump scare last week. A sink strainer is uh, that thing, what the shit, that thing in the drain of your sink that keeps big chunks from going down into the plumbing and just clogging your plumbing up all the shit. What? I'm coming! Just a minute, I'm trying to explain a thing here. Hi, what the hell do you want? Okay, that means there's a key somewhere. There it is. Okay. We learned last week that jump scares equal keys. Okay. Sorry, um, what the hell is a sink strainer? Uh, that is that thing in the in the sink that, that keeps chunks from going down the drain. So there is this uh, seal, sort of, on the underside of the, of the strainer. Nope, obviously that wasn't it. That's the jump scare room. I've been there. That's not really where I want to go. And there is, um, well, there's actually two, two parts of the seal to this thing. There's a, uh, a little rubber washer that goes on the underside of it, on the underside of the sink side. And there's some crap called plumber's putty that you put around the underside of the lip of the strainer itself. Which somehow, for some ridiculous reason, I actually had some of this shit. I don't know why. I don't know why I had a tub of plumber's putty and not a single goddamn wire brush in my entire apartment. It is a mystery. But, um... Nope, locked. Okay. I, I had the wire brush. I'll explain in a minute. Let's turn the light on. Here we go. But, um, you need, what you need to do, well, first of all, how do you know you need to replace your sink strainer nut and or washer in the first place? That is great. If you have a leak under your sink and it appears to be coming from right under the underside of the drain, there's a good chance that your sink strainer washer has gone to shit. Locked. Okay, of course it is. 
And then, Ian, you need to change the washer. Um. Ah, oh, shit. Hello? Okay. Okay, this is not really where I want to be, I don't think. Or, uh, if, uh, or like in my case, if you discover a leak under your sink, and, um, there we go. A little light on the subject. A little light on the subject. If you discover a leak under your sink, and you look under there, and the actual nut itself has broken in half because it's a complete piece of shit and has just fallen off and is hanging off the drain pipe. That's a pretty good indication that you need to change it. I'm, yeah, I'm not a plumbing contractor, but I'm just saying, I think, I, yeah, this is where I need to be. Um, that's, that's generally a sign that uh, your, your, your sink strainer nut is screwed and you need to replace it. So the sink strainer nut it comes with the two seals that you need. It's about a four dollar part from Home Depot or your other s such local hardware store. Um, you might as well just go ahead and get a whole damn sink strainer assembly while you're at it because those start at like six bucks. You're also going to need a thing called a sink strainer nut wrench. This is a 12... Hey, buddy. This is like a $12 wrench. It is a very strange little piece. It's a, it's a weird little tool. And you will probably never, ever fucking use it again. Ever. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Anyway. Uh, first thing you need to do, look under your sink. Uh, that's already open. <laughs> Look under your sink and, um... No. No, don't pst at me. Look under your sink. Um, about six to eight inches down from the strainer. Oh, yes, I need that. Oh, hell, there's a key. Um, there is a little... There will be a coupling, usually, that you can probably unscrew by hand you might need a pipe wrench or you know a slip slip joint pliers or just just don't fuck this thing up because that's what hooks your sink strainer etc to your drain pipe and if it leaks you're gonna be in deep shit uh, so very carefully unscrew this thing key no, not key. Just part of the design. And remove the sink strainer assembly and the little drain pipe from the sink. Now, there's probably going to be all kinds of... Uh, oh, good shiny paper. All kinds of dried up plumber's putty and shit on this thing. Linda was sure that some of the furniture had been moved since yesterday. No, it's definitely been moved. Things. Okay, so yay, day five. Alright, so this is where the wire brush comes in. You're going to need the wire brush to scrub that plumber's putty out of the threads of the old, uh, of the uh, sink strainer. Because, probably because the person who installed it there fucked up and put the putty way too close to the threads, which they shouldn't have done. Um, but anyway, we're, we're not going to fault them for that. I'm going to put batteries in. All right, uh, now that I've finally got my bearings, I've got to figure out where the fuck I am again. Okay. I think all of these have been unlocked. I think that has been unlocked. Okay, that's where I actually want to go. But, uh, scrub that plumber's putty out of those threads. This nut has to be able to go all the way flush. Or, you know, not flush, obviously, but tight up against the bottom of the sink with that little rubber washer and the other washer, which I'll explain in a minute. You got to clean the shit out of that strainer. So, once you have scrubbed the shit out of that strainer, uh, you are going to need to 
Now, if, if uh, something god-awful happens and you screw up the threads on the strainer, well, that's why I told you to buy the other one, because they're only six bucks. That's a weird reflection. I've got one key. There's some batteries. Good. Um, okay. Where was I? Oh, right. Right, right. So. Yeah. Okay. Any any keys? Oh, wait. This is a new door. Hold up. Then you're not been missing key. Okay. So, if the... Uh, oh, good. Matches. Once you've got all the old putty scrubbed out of the threads of the sink strainer. Uh, hello? There's some weird little shadows and shit going on there. Once you've got all that putty scrubbed out. <laughs> get you some of that, uh, get you some new plumber's putty. Some fresh putty. And you know how when you were a kid, where the hell am I going? You would, uh, where, where am I going? Oh shit, I'm lost. I think this way? I think this way. You know, you, you take Play-Doh and you make snakes? You know how you do that? Okay, well that's exactly what you want to do. You want to make a, some, a skinny, skinny snake. The instructions on the strainer, the, the extra strainer I got said, is, this, is it just me or is this plant dropping more leaves every time? Says a 1 8 inch bead of plumber's putty. That that sounds good to me. That that's that's about right. So, where do you put that? You put that all around the underside. The uh, the the flange, I believe, it's the technical term for it. All around the underside of the strainer, the part that meets the sink. Put it back in the sink. Uh, it should be fucking obvious where to put it. Uh, put the strainer back in the sink. I ain't looking. Ah, oh, shit. What the fuck? Okay, cool story, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, that was that was the jump scare of the day. All right. So you put the strainer back in the sink and push it down to smush the putty around so it makes a nice good seal with the, uh, with the sink. Now comes the fun part. Uh, before you reconnect that little coupling that goes to the drain pipe, you've got to put the nut and the washers on. Now there's going to be two washers. Shit. There's, um, batteries. There's the rubber one that I talked about. That's the one that needs to go up against the bottom of the sink. And then there's this other little weird one. It's, uh, if you got a cheap nut for four bucks, it probably came with a cardboard one. Um, if you did get a new strainer assembly, like I said, you should have, because they're six friggin' bucks. If you did get a new strainer assembly, uh, chances are it comes with a kind of, uh, what is that shit? Tyvek. Uh, kind of a paper, not uh, better than cardboard, but some kind of synthetic fiber. I don't know what the fuck it is. The purpose of that thing is so that you don't have this metal nut turning right up against a delicate piece of rubber. Because you're gonna, if that, if you do that, if you forget to put that thing on and you just tighten up this nut against this piece of rubber, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna tear the shit out of that piece of rubber that's going to keep water from going all under your fucking cabinets. Okay, so put that between the nut and the uh, and the rubber washer. Start to tighten the rubber washer or the uh, the nut in place. And at some point, you're going to need to use the wrench. Ah, shit! This is not. Uh, some point, you're going to need to start using the wrench to turn it. That's fine. Now, the instructions say to insert a thing called a sink strainer wrench into the strainer itself, I'm guessing from the top side, I did not need to do this because once I got that nut hand tight, it just stayed right where it needed to be like a good little sink strainer. It didn't give me any shit. 
I was very proud of it. So, <laughs> um... Once you have uh, gotten that nut, uh, what we used to call back in the day, German torque, that being Gutentight, I mean, you don't have to crank this thing down until it's you know, just ridiculously tight. As long as it's good and tight, you should be fine. Um, there was, wasn't there furniture here? Ah, oh, shit. No, I'm no, I'm thinking about the downstairs room. Okay, I think I'm. I think I've already tried this room. Yep. All right, turn the lights on. So, once you have tightened it up, good and tight, you should be done. Go ahead. Uh, leave your bucket or other receptacle underneath the the the. Uh, strainer for now because if you fucked up you're gonna have a leak and you want that there so at that point go ahead turn the water on try it out if you did everything right you should have zero water coming into the bucket if you did everything wrong you will have much water going into the bucket and you will need to pull everything out and start over again so that is how you do minor plumbing repairs <laughs> on your kitchen sink. I Yeah, I could have called the maintenance guy at the apartments to do it. The thing is, I have this weird little neurotic thing where when I call someone to fix something, I kind of want them to fix it right the first time. And uh, the only way I can guarantee that that's going to happen is if I do it my damn self. So, <laughs> oh shit. Uh, do I have... Uh, no, I do not. Okay. I don't think this is where I want to go. Oh god, is it outside this time? I think it's outside. I think... Fuck. No, that wasn't a jump scare. Okay. I think I've already gotten the jump scare of the day. I think I've already gotten the jump scare du jour. So... I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go outside. And I know y'all... Well, y'all will be able to see just fine, because again, I'm gonna brighten this up in post. But, uh, let's see. Anything good over here? Let's light some. Hey, buddy. No, I ain't looking. Mm -mm. No. Uh, frog noises. Okay. I believe it's this way. This is... No, that's not really where I want to go. It's... Is it that way? No, it's around here. Is where I need to go. I think would be the faster way to that locked door. But I think we've already had the jump scare of the day. So yeah, you'll be able to see just fine. I can't see shit right now. No... I'm not random because I'm scared, bro. I'm random because you're too fucking slow. Please, 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 God. Mother pus bucket. Well, where the hell? So yeah, um, yeah, I, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. But this is the game. This is the whole game right here. Yeah, my flashlight does actually regenerate. Oh, a well. I never noticed that. Ah, batteries. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Is it raining? Ah. Uh. So, uh, yeah. You you go around. That's why I'm doing all this um, how-to how shit. Because the gameplay itself is pretty much um, find key, try key in every door and house until you find a shiny paper. And then once you find a shiny paper, that's the end of the day. And you go on to the next day. 
which starts the whole process all over again. The door's locked. Find the magic key. I've got two keys. They don't go to any fucking thing in the house. Now, surely... These have to go somewhere. Yes, they do go somewhere, and don't call me Shirley. Uh, little, um, 80s humor there. Only 80s kids remember. Nobody else has ever seen Airplane, ever. No, that's, that's bullshit, and we all know it. Okay. Is there another jump scare in here? Motherfucker! There was a jump scare in here last week. But there's not now. Ah, oh, jeez. Lights, please. Thank you. Anything at all? What the fuck was that? Okay, I don't think I want to be in this room. I don't think this is the room that I want to be in. In fact, I guarantee that's the room I don't want to be in. Or not that I don't, you know, actively want to, don't want to be in it. I just, there's nothing to do there. Okay, well it's got to be this way. Hey, open the door. Ah, oh, shit. Nope, that's that's not a candle. There we go. That's better. That's nice. That's homey. Okay. The door is locked. Find a magic key. Well, I've got two keys. They gotta match something. Have I been here? I have been here. That's right, I have. Is there a door down this way that I... There's that door. Son of a bitch! Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. So yeah, every day... Shit. Oh, broom closet. That's that's inviting. Where's the light switch? Oh, that's exactly what I need right now. Thank you. And a key. Good. And matches. Good. What else? What else? Shiny paper? No. Please, for fuck's sake, let that key go here. Thank you. Oh god, thank you. Thank you for not making me run all the way around the house. Oh, there's the shiny paper. There's a key. There's battery. Oh wow, this is this is a treasure trove here. Wow, that's that's creepy. If we had a small thunderstorm. Uh, at times like that, this big house can get pretty creepy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, folks. So I am going to. That is it for this day. I am going to call it a night. Uh, I think next week we'll go back to recipes or some shit. I don't know. Or maybe we'll play something else. I don't know. But I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.